Oh yeah, that's oh, something. Yeah, right. yeah. What happens? Something uh, good? Uh, I don't know the other kind of for the other story, <laughs> but it sounds like uh, something's getting reset. Mm-mm. Trees All right, week. let's see. Yeah, we got the. Oh, we're we're live already. What's going on, everybody? Night. It's at, we get here. Looks like, like they switched it up. What's up, Zart, Frankie? Good morning, everybody. It's a nice quiet morning at the comic shop today. So we're gonna take a look at everything. I know, Rat City. I thought that would be probably like the most popular book this week. There's still a bunch on the shelf. Three ninety nine. This is the the new one. Yeah, the comic shop's been quieter and quieter every week. That's a good. That's a good bat symbol. I've had practice. That, oh, say, <laughs> a lot of lot of school desks. <laughs> my Batman on it. <laughs> I used to draw the Batman symbol on on the school desk. Don't recommend. Don't do it though. <laughs> All right, but let's get it started though. We're gonna go alphabetical order like always. I hope everyone. What's up, Hurley? Good morning, Carrie. Hello, everybody. Comment down below your top book this week. Real quick, we will be live tonight, too, on uh, Whatnot, running all number one modern variants of, uh, like, um, indie books. So it's all indie, like, number ones. There's cover A's and variants and stuff. So if you guys check out the stream on Whatnot today. And then we're going to be at Joe's on uh, Friday. Joe's Barn Sale. He's doing his monthly sale this Friday, so we'll check out that and everything. Good morning. What's up, Tex? It's your birthday. Happy birthday, Hurley. Happy birthday. Any Campbell covers today? I don't think so. We're going to get it started, though. Good morning, Chaos. I figured I'd wait a little bit just because I started the stream a little early, and sometimes people don't get the notification. But we'll start with the foil over here. we got Action Comics 1064. This was... um. I have like I, I've been, uh, oh yeah, this is the Brainiac part one. Let me grab this. So I've been looking for a new, like, starting point with Superman. So this is probably a good one here. The Brainiac part one. Lots of cool books came out today. Get the chat. What's up, Chuck? Oh, that's the worst. Yeah, sometimes with delivery and stuff, it you can miss, miss out on some stuff. Where's that? Thief of Many Things, Dead Weights, Dark Space Dungeon, IDW. Yeah, you gotta love Lobo with Superman, right? House of Slaughter number 22. You got a couple different variants here. This is the unlockable variant, and then this is the 1 in 10. Let's see if we can find some J. Scott Campbell covers. Oh, is that Arthur Adams on the Hulk? That's pretty cool. I just noticed that. That's fun. Ooh, dang. Look at that, though. There's a lot of books with damage this week. One in 25. It's only 18 bucks, though. I mean, it's kind of still pricey, but that's a cool Arthur Adams cover. I like that. The incentive. Oh, here's the um Incredible Hulk, the vampire, like, homage cover. They've been doing a lot of these, like, vampire homages. There's the cover A. Number 11. Yeah, the Hulk is fun. The Hulk is definitely cool. It's got that corner ding over there. Like the Spider-Man's this week. I'm trying to get my Spider-Man run complete. But the Spider-Man's got real dinged up. Earth Divers. Everybody's talking about Hell Divers, the video game. I have not checked it out yet. What if Aliens? Very excited for the new Aliens movie that's coming out. If you guys have not checked out the Aliens trailer. Oh, and speaking of trailers, the Joker trailer dropped last night. What would you guys think of that? You going to pick it up, Chad? You could probably press that out. If you got a press at your house. It's not super bad. That's a cool Jim Lee cover there. Jim Lee on the Batman Who Laughs. Yeah, Marvel's Blood Hunt event is going to be awesome for sure. Batman and Robin. I pre-ordered the um, the 18 plus version. 18 oh, plus two, version. There's two releases. There's oh, I didn't uh, know that. Uh, one and then one that comes sealed. Oh, because, the blood hunt. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, now I want one. Yeah. <laughs> Was that issue 13? Oh, F Fairyland. And you got I hate Fairyland over there. Pretty crazy cover. What's up, Nate? Hello, everybody. Very excited to watch the Joker. Yeah, the trailer looked pretty cool. This Fantastic Four cover is awesome, though. Yeah. There's no calm before this storm. <laughs> I like that. First appearance of 
the uh, Teen Titans or even the Bold 54. I got a really cool video coming out on the channel this weekend too, so I hope you guys are excited because Friday and Monday's video is going to be awesome. Another one of those vampire covers. You don't know how you feel? Yeah, it'll definitely be an interesting one for sure. I mean, it's going to be different than the first one, which I really enjoyed the first one. Dang, look at that cover. That's cool. With the thing. <laughs> and we got over here Jennifer Blood, Labyrinth number one. There you got. Oh, look at this Invincible Iron Man. I didn't realize they did another one of those. The covers there. Homage card. <laughs> That's funny. With Emma. Batman, Robin, and Howard. And then you got Batman, Dylan Dog. What is this? Batman, Dylan Dog number two, the variant. This is like a big magazine here. Whoa, look at this. Batman First Night, Dan Jurgens, book two. What's up, Lenny? Dang, look at that cover. That's pretty cool. The bear fight? Beneath the Trees, number five, cover B. That's pretty crazy. Cool cover. Oh, wow, look at that one. These covers are pretty crazy. <laughs> <sighs> it's like missing his insides there. I need you to sign this letting. Yeah, all of those are, are uh, homages, the Tomb of Dracula homages. A lot of piece from Moco today, too. We have uh, the Mad Magazine. I think that's the second print. Hercules, all the different Hercules covers. And you got Green Lantern issue 10. Also featuring House of Brainiac tie in. This is the storyline that they're doing on Action Comics. Yeah, traffic sucks. Gotta love those Hildebrandt covers. All it takes is one dumb fuck, and that's Hercules. The Disney Channel, Hercules number one. Elliot. What's up, dude? Checking out some. That's the shit right there. The Ultimate Black. I'm more of Ultimate Spider Man. I got all the first prints, though, with the Black Panther. I'm really enjoying the. Uh, Ultimate you gotta, you gotta love it, man. You gotta love it. Yeah, but the third print, I don't know about that. <laughs> well, I wish they would just do first prints. Somebody believes that it's worth going all the way. <laughs> yeah, somebody. Somebody at Marvel. And what print is Spider Man up to now? Like four or something like that. There you go. They just released it today, I think. There you go. Look at all the Hercules covers. It's all making the almighty dollar. These are pretty nostalgic, though. These ones? Hercules. Yeah. Hercules. It's like everybody's... It was probably yeah, one of my top animated yeah, movies well, he called growing me. up. Yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, Lenny's got the... Crying boy. Yeah, this is after the second round King of Stock. submitting those books. One oh, man, did I miss out on the Carnage yeah, cover? I totally forgot. Like if you get you, uh, Bjorn Barents had the Carnage cover. Dang, I missed it. I forgot about that. Oh, man, I forgot about that one. Same. What do we got over here? Miss Marvel? Mutant Menace number two with Mojo. Two David Nakayamas this week. My Little Pony. Monsters are my business number one. Like a little koala on the car. That's fun. Carnage vs. Eddie is crazy in that. Should I grab it? I didn't get the cover I wanted, but I, I have been following the storyline. Is this the, uh, let me grab one just so I can have the consecutive issues. Black Panther, I guess, I think I already grabbed one of these. Oh, the Little Nemo comic book. I didn't know that was, that was coming out. Does Lenny have a YouTube channel? I don't think so. I do not think so. All right, now we're going to go on to the second half of the shelf here. Outsiders. Larry was talking about this book. Apparently, the the writer or something's been pretty upset about people spoiling it. Something happens inside. Yeah, Rat City came out this week. Oh, a connecting cover. That's cool. If I did, I would have brought it. I don't know, Sean. That I love the Sentinels, though. 
Power Rangers, the return, number three. That was fun. Phantom Road. Dang, look at that cover. That's fun. Number 10. We got Darth Vader, Master and Apprentice cover, issue 45. Do I ever pre-order comics? I don't really, unless it's like a uh, like an artist is doing a drop on their website or something. Like I, I pre-order from Scotty Young's website pretty often. Well, I don't want to say pretty often, but when he does uh, when he does cool drops, I'll do pre-orders and stuff. But for the most part, I just uh, like the new comic book day ones. I'll grab off the shelf. So I sometimes I'll miss out on stuff, but it's part of the fun, you know. Thundercats. You got the one in ten. There's the one in seven. This one in fifteen, Rob Liefeld, is pretty cool. Virgin variant, twelve bucks. Yeah, David Nakayama is super popular. His his Catwoman covers are awesome too. I'm loving his Catwoman run he's doing. Ultimate X Men two variant. There's a couple of these. There's the one in twenty five. And then the one in 10, like a design variant. A lot of Thundercats. Oh, here's the David Nakayama, number three. The foil, they got it for 10 bucks. One in 25. That's a pretty fun one. Yeah, there it is right there. There's the... What's your name? Chitara or something? I'm not too familiar with Thundercats. There's a lot of the Thundercats covers. Magneto. Red Hood. The Hill. Oh, here's Rat City. Number one. The new, um, like new character in there. Final Thrawn issue. Is this the final issue of Thrawn Alliance? It's only a four issue series? Hmm. Yeah, that's uh, issue four. And you got Red Hood, Magneto, Resurrection. There's only one left. Put it on this. I didn't see the cover. Hey. It must. I don't know what happened. It must have been a popular book for some reason. This is the Malieve variant cover. This is a hot book. Why is this so popular? It's a cool cover. Do you like Nightcrawler? Love Nightcrawler. I like the cover though. I'm a huge Malieve fan. I think I think I grabbed one already though. Yeah, it was definitely it was, it was tricky when we moved here because he had built up all of his reputation in Maine for like 12, 13 years, and then it's like all right, here's the Thrawn. Final issue. When is your next art con? There's no um, art conventions really planned out until the next OAX, which isn't until next year, unfortunately, but we're really excited. We will be there. And uh, if we find any news, like if anybody knows of any other art conventions, definitely reach out to us. Let us know because we had a lot of fun at OAX and uh, we're going to be at Heroes Con. That's the next big, big event. But we're actually going to be driving up to Heroes Con and recording all kinds of different content at comic book shops on the way up and stuff. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be lots of content coming out on the channel in probably like three more months. So until then, we're just going to be doing fun stuff around town, picking up collections and going to garage sales and stuff. But once Hero Heroes Con rolls around, there's going to be lots of uh, like comic shop challenges. And we're going to be going to Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, St. Augustine shop. So if you guys have any recommendations... Please uh, reach out to us. Sweetie Candy Vigilante. These variants are pretty cool. The um, the incentive ones. I enjoy these. These are fun trucks. If you're into, into the girl incentives. That one's cool with the, like, the... What is that down there? That's fun. Uncanny Valley, number one. What's up, Bronze Age? Did you find those Batman books that went missing during the sale? Oh, hey, Freeman. Um, Actually, that's crazy. Just bring that up. We actually did. The the person that... um, it's a, it's a little bit of a tricky story, I guess. But they had accidentally taken them and didn't realize until, I guess, actually... A few days ago, we got a message on Instagram 
So uh, they messaged us and realized that they grabbed like the stack of books on accident. And um, yeah, they're going to actually bring the books to uh, Joe's this week and drop them off there. So we did actually find the stolen Batmans. So yes, we did. Uh, and thank you to everybody that's been nice about the, uh, you know, in the video and stuff. Peach Momoko on ASM. I have not been, uh, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of these ASM covers that John Romita Jr. has been doing. I love John, but I don't like this one either. Peach Momoko. That spider looks like a, a mosquito spider. <laughs> It's got the Avengers West Coast homage, and then this one's cool. Greg Land, one in twenty-five for sixteen bucks. Knocking everything down. Nine twenty-five. Yeah, new Disney cover. They doing the homages. I'm pretty upset about this. I gotta admit, I'm gonna grab one more of these actually, because we are gonna be going to um. Also, next weekend, so this weekend is Joe's. Joe's sale is on Friday and Saturday, and then on Saturday, there's a toy sale that we're going to be going to for the first time. So if you guys are interested in, like, toys and stuff, we'll be going to a local toy sale. And then uh, we have a um, like another thing going on next weekend, too, at uh, Arkham Asylum. There's going to be some artists there. Look at those corners, though. Breaks my heart. Breaks my heart. They're on the fourth printing already with this too. I'm trying to buy all the covers. I don't know if Acme. Comment down below if Acme. Um, what printing is? It's the fourth print. But comment down below if your shop had their corners like that too, or is it just Acme? Because it would make me feel better if everybody's corners are damaged. <laughs> I kind of want to grab another one, but since they're all dinged up, I'm gonna leave them. Yeah, the Joker 2 trailer, I think it's got some mixed um, mixed opinions right now. Sorry. But, uh, I don't know, you got to wait until the movie comes out, right? Can't give it your real opinion off just the... I think the trailer was only like a minute long. Symbiote Spider-Man 2099. Look at that. Is that Spider-Punk? That's nuts. I like that. Spider-Punk. Upside down as like a venomized... Oh, that's cool. I really wish they would stop putting that Stormbreakers in the corner, though. If they would just take the Stormbreakers out, they'd have Virgin variants. And they would sell, like, every single one of them. I guarantee you. <laughs> but they keep putting this in there, and it's just, I don't know. 80. That's a fun one in 25 there. Which one in 25 is nicer this week, though? The Greg Land on ASM? This one's pretty cool. I like this one. 19 bucks. It's only a $3 difference. Oh, you didn't like the Joker number one? I loved it. I love the Joker. Thought it was a thought it was a great movie. Excited for the new one. This is a fun cover too with Miles. Then you got the Star Wars homage. First appearance of Star Spider on this book. We saw this in the preview a little while back. This one's pretty fun, though. Should I grab one of these? I didn't grab one, but I probably should. We'll grab one. The um, Star Wars homage. Put it with our ultimate here. You got more Thundercats down there. I just realized, wow, the Thundercats is the whole... Oh, my gosh. Is, oh, no, it's not the whole row. <laughs> it just wraps around down there, so it almost is the whole row. It's all that down there, and then all this right here. It's Thundercats, wow. Is that a second print on What If Venom? I didn't realize it was that popular. What If Venom number one, second print. Yeah, Dynamite's definitely... I mean, just look at all the... You have David Nakayama. So this is cover A, I guess, right here. Number one. Oh, this is number one, though. So this is a uh, second print. A third print. They're already on the third print. You have the foil. What is this? This says Thundercats number three. But I think this is number... I think this is number one, second print. 
Or the third print. This is a new book, too, from Mad Cave that was supposed to be pretty popular. The uh, When Blood Has Dried. I don't check out too many Mad Cave books. Yeah, that one, too. I heard the Transformers. That one in 50 is pretty fun. Morning from San Antonio. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, we'll be live on Whatnot today, too. We're doing all um, indie books, all modern indie number ones. We got a collection in, and he was a uh, like modern collector, and it's had a bunch of cool indie books. I didn't look any of them up either because there's so many of them, so <laughs> it'll be fun. What do we have over here? Weapon X Men. This one's cool. The uh, one in twenty five is pretty, pretty nuts. Lionel, you cover. New artist on Transformers. Oh, I didn't know that. It's a new story arc. Oh, it's a new story Transformers arc. Transformers starts a new story arc this week. Oh, it does. Your, your favorite character against Star Trek. That's a nice cover there. What, the number two with the Phoenix and Wolverine. That's actually a really nice cover there. I like that one. This is fun too. Oh, what is this? I just realized. I almost missed out on the, uh, the Sabretooth War. I've been doubling up on these. The Wolverine run. What cover is this? Sabretooth through the ages. This one's fun though. This is, this is the top cover this week. Let me grab one more. That there. That there. That there. Alrighty. Almost done this week. Another Spider Verse. This cover is really fun. I like this one. One in 25. And you have a one in 50 there, the Virgin variant. Is Sabretooth a statue? No, that's the uh, Hildebrandt homage cover. So Greg and Tim Hildebrandt after the Masterpiece cards. More Thundercats. Can't have too much Thundercats, right? <laughs> and then here is the Ultimate X-Men. Number two, you have the first print. And there's the other variant, the Moco cover. Oh, what's up, man? Oh, that's so funny. I got the same shirt. I almost wore it today. Oh, man. We were in twins. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Scorched. Did we miss this one? I like that cover there. Oh, you've been enjoying the X-Men show? That's good. Yeah, it's been fun. Darth Vader. I think that's pretty much it. Let's see what our stack looks like this week, though. Change some words in that. With that audience. Let's see what I got here. I used to coach cheerleading teams. Sabretooth? So this is Wolverine. I didn't change any words. Like, I just said them out. Like, well, yeah. I like that. Hey, you got the, uh, the uh, on Thursday, I go to a few preschools locally. I've got the three set I always forget X23 has a knife in her foot. This summer, we're moving to street hockey as well. Always forget that. Okay. I want you to do one. Are peaches out of season yet? I don't know. Okay. I don't know if that's my skill set. Not sure. What is your skill set? I'm not like crazy good at soccer. I'm just good with kids. So, like, it's a different level. Are you good with coaching? Yes. I mean, I've been coaching oh, for a long time. I coach hockey. Nothing much. We're just kind of hanging out at the comic book shop. Going to go home, and uh, I got a couple more indie books I got to organize and stuff for the stream tonight. And, uh, yeah, we got Joe's on Friday, which will be fun. Joe's is always a good time. We got our house sale is coming up soon, the 20, uh, 27th is our house sale. So if you guys are going to make it out, it'll be lots of fun. We're going to do it real easy this time, too. I got everything is 50 centers. Fill a long box for 100 bucks, And then I'm going to have the wall set up with all kinds of stuff. It will be, uh, like, priced out nice and easy for everybody. 
Well, a, a lot of Magneto. rules have changed, but a lot Storm. more like um, in soccer, you know, I don't know how, you, how to explain it, like strategies. Yeah, like, Joe's always getting new so stuff in too, you know, so it's always fun. Like where you put your best players, you know, how Daredevils. You attack, how you play defense. Yeah, yeah I would love for them to do a new Daredevil title. Magneto is looking pretty cool there. X Men. Let's see what's going on at Ultimate X Men. Yeah, the thing with Joe too is kind of like with me. You know, you you look at the sticker price, but if you get more than one book. You know, the sticker price isn't really firm. So, that's the best thing about guys like Joe. He's always cutting deals. Especially if you go to his sale more than once. Like, if he recognizes you. <laughs> Have you guys been enjoying the artwork in this? It's kind of like a, a manga book, you know? I'm excited for this right here. This is going to be a sick event. Pretty cool. I'm excited for the uh, the blade. Uh, uh, waiting in line for your LCS to open? Yeah, there are a couple LCSs that open like later on. Around here. But uh, Acme is always open at 10. Featuring Web Weaver on this one too. Lewis, thank you. You are nearing the edge of Spider Verse. Oh, here we go. That's cool. Almost now. New character. Are you going to the show in Melbourne, Florida this Sunday? No, Sean. Tell me more. Where's that at? Toy and Comic Con. A toy and Comic Con this Sunday in Melbourne? Yeah, it's at the big convention center. I didn't even know about that. Maybe we'll go now, yeah. Helverine 1. This is going to be a fun one, too. Helverine. Definitely grab that if you guys are into Wolverine or Ghost Rider. All right, maybe we'll have to check that out. I'll have to... I have to check that out. Oh wait, is that um? I think I am going to that the toy yeah. show. Your buddy's usually there, the one from just uh, J Justin. Yeah. Oh, I am going to that actually. I'm going on. Um, that's why it sounded familiar. <laughs> I'm going on Saturday to that event actually. Yes, I'll be there on Saturday. They say SummerSlam though. Frankie's asking if there's anybody yeah. from California in the chat. I'm sure there's got to be one other person, right? So he's leaving. Oh, here's the new Earth. Seven one four nine zero. Would I ever consider a table at a booth as a seller? We've done it a couple times. Um, I would love to get a booth at MegaCon one year. One year. I was in the Damian Priest bandwagon though. I was loving that. Judgment Day. The truth was amazing. Oh, did you enjoy WrestleMania? Of course. <laughs> It's like, awesome. it's like it's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Will's from San Diego. There we go. It's my second Christmas. Yeah, it's all over Instagram and stuff. It's like all over my feed right now. It's all there is now. The Rock and like Cody Rhodes are everywhere. <laughs> it was great. Like they did great job. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't watch it, but I feel like I missed out. <laughs> this is the same book. This is just the Miles cover. Always got to pick up Miles. This is the uh, Sabretooth Wolverine 47, so that's the variant cover. Yeah, it's definitely getting more and more, uh, like at a MegaCon, it's definitely less dealers, it seems like, and more um, more of like an event place. I got to get this, though, for the Arkham Asylum event. There's uh, Alex Saviuk's going to be there. And wouldn't it be cool to get Alex Saviuk to do a piece? So on the uh, Ultimate Spider-Man? They're pretty fun. Oh, wait, did I leave my other books on the top over there? I think I did. I got bad etiquette at the comic shop, guys. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be like me. 
Did I? Oh, I did. <laughs> I was going to say, I think I got two of those. Ooh, Lance is from California. Yeah, I get more blanks for Heroes Con. Yeah, exactly. I'm excited to buy some original art at Heroes Con, too. I have a uh, an original piece in the mail right now. Do an unboxing and show you guys. This is a fun cover, too. I like that one. I reached out to another artist on Instagram to try to get an original piece, and uh, yeah, he did not re he did not respond. <laughs> it's, it's difficult. Magneto. Oh, so I did grab one. I got two of these. Then you know, put this one back. I don't think I need two of them. I grabbed this just because the haunt cover. It's cool haunt number twenty eight. Spoils, yeah. <laughs> Spoils get everybody. <laughs> so one in twenty five. Gotta grab this one. It's a nice copy too. I just I don't know, I really like that cover. Magneto and Gambit died. Really? Didn't we just look at it? I don't think he died. Average of prices for this is like. To save a life, to save a world. Next man can't die, says. No, no, I, I didn't. I got Carnage. I'm kind of upset I missed the cover A. I gotta be honest. But this is the uh, the Carnage story, has been pretty cool. Rip oh, no. Really crazy that I just got in. No Simone covers this week. I don't think. They somehow are immortal now. This Carnage book's been pretty crazy. So we got... We're at the point now where... Um, Dylan's dead, right? Didn't he kill Dylan last... Um, like, Dylan's in some void right now? Dang, look at that. <laughs> Double splash. That's crazy. Looking. Yeah, Chris, I'm I'm excited for it. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of tie-ins, so I think you're gonna just have to go with like for me personally, there's gonna be so many of them. I'm just going with the cover A's. And uh I'm probably only gonna buy the stuff that I really enjoy. Oops, sorry, yeah. Come on, everybody's way here. I'm looking at Carnage here. Nothing for you this week. Oh, dang, look at that. He had a choice. Oh, and then they even got it, like, blurred out on the TV there. Immortal X-Men, he says. Whoa, look at that. That's pretty fun. I gotta do that cold. This is where the real thing is. You got Agent Anti Venom there. That's pretty cool. We were looking for that. Let's see what we got in Superman. I think Superman's got. Oh, yeah. That's uh, oh, my buddy starting off. finally got a 9-8 on it. I think this is like the third submission he's done. The race that Lobo is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you want Josh to sign? He got a bunch yeah. of them here. I thought Lobo was supposed to be the last of his race, though. I thought so, too. I thought that's what the whole shtick was. Like, he killed off his whole his whole race, and that's the only way he's able to die, right? Sounds it's... like they're not going to be very happy with him, then. So they've lied to us this whole time? Yeah, I guess. Let's see. Yeah. Because in the comics, I saw the preview, but I don't know if the show dropped yet. That's a fun Not page, sir. You gotta love Superman. Come on, Superman don't get enough love. Smallville. I didn't buy any of those Disney cards, which means they're gonna be amazing. Because then I'll be like, yeah, they just did a collector. I do that all the time. Looks like I said, we've got enough decks to sell for a year. So is that not Lobo then? I guess that's not Lobo. It's people. Yeah. Just creeping on your people. Got Brainiac. It's a new Brainiac arc. Yeah, this is the first start. House of the Brainiac number one, part one. <laughs> Lobo's clones? Well, if they're clones, they can't be that powerful, right? Oh, 
What is that? I'm not up on all the action comics. Is that Lex Luthor with like a... Looks like he's got some kind of Green Lantern armor on or something with that watch. Gotta check out Superman. Look at this guy. Oh, absolutely. I don't like the idea of that idea. I don't. But being a hater, I like Whaleville. That's why it's worth so much. Was that Zarnia? Peace and Prosperity. Oh, Whaleville was very good. I liked that one, Sean. That was a very beautiful book. That's the one with the worms. No worries. It's the big yellow, but that's the only bad book I read. So maybe it's like a new character here. First appearance of General Chakal. I think it's his name. Try to take my older ones. Until payday. Oh, whoa, look at all the brainiacs, too. That's cool. Look at the last page. All the different brainiac versions. That's cool. Got Hercules. I did grab this one. It's fun. Rat City. Let's check out this. This is the new book this week. I love the paper quality they use on this, too. So nice. Oh, there's going to be number two. I was shorted on it. Bjorn Barons on number two. Carbon is this going to be a monthly book? High Republic. We were shorted on the eight. Okay. Um, are you subscribed huh. to it? I think so. Okay. If you're sub to it, won't be an issue because we'll just pull them for check out the new anyway when we get them. We just haven't gotten them. Yet. I think it was like half a box just didn't get to us because there's like five or six different covers this week that we just for some reason didn't end up getting. But they're on our invoice, so we know that they're. Out. Yeah, Sorry I checked out the uh, the Sam and Twitch book was pretty cool too that came out. A couple weeks ago. Okay, I must have sold it. Yeah, sorry. Dude. These are always fun to get into. I actually forgot that was a good title, though. Yeah. And then the Tony Oh, there he is. What's that one? It's not. Gets his legs blown off yeah. and everything, so he gets in an accident. He did. No, this oh, one's three yeah, ninety nine. Rat totally. City's three ninety nine. These remind me of the birds from uh, Sleeping Beauty. You know, like Maleficent turns into a whole bunch of crows. Don't they look like the crows that she turns into? Yes, yeah. they do. What is that book about? Is it just and that's uh, definitely the dude from Street Fighter? Yeah. Looks like Shang Chi a little bit. It's a guy whose his superpowers manifest cartoonish. Uncanny Valley in the real world it takes place in the real world and in the cartoon. Yeah. And that looks like Maleficent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so maybe it's maybe it is. Yeah, right. Should I grab one? I didn't grab it. <laughs> I usually don't check out too much indie stuff. Unless it's spawn. Indie number ones are always fun. And then after that... Is that what you usually do? You grab the number one? See if I like it and then buy the trade if I like it later. I, I just got a personal collection and actually... And the guys, I think that's pretty much what he did too because he's all number ones. Except for Beneath the Trees. This is... That's fun. a cover buy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's fun too. It's actually... Fun. I hate Fairyland as always really fun. Yeah. Don't want to get the explicit cover, right? <laughs> I got kids. <laughs> Well, there you go. You got Spawn on the last page here. Uh, cool little splash there. Let's see. Last last couple pages. Cool costume design. Concept art. Oh, that's cool. And then it gives you like a black and white inked version on the back there. That's fun. Some toys. Red City. Oh, this is a cover buy right here. Jim Lee, Batman Who Laughs. Yeah, that's a cool one. Nice hard cardstock paper, too. Six dollar book, though. And then the Black Panther, yeah, I thought I grabbed one. Put the third print with my first and second print. <laughs> Killing me with all the printings. That's pretty much it for this week. I don't think we got anything else. Anything on the wall back here? 
Sometimes you got new stuff. Plastic four. Silver Surfer. How much is that one? Eighty five bucks. Yeah, she's seventy two. I said you have your all right everybody well i think that's pretty much it for this week got everything i was looking for for the most part the only thing i really missed out on was the carnage and that's about it um yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys have a wonderful new comic book day have a good week and i'll see you in the next one a new video coming out on friday and monday some of my favorite videos that we got on the channel or that we're going to have on the channel so i hope you guys enjoy them and uh yeah thank you guys for hanging out we'll see you tonight too on whatnot we're going to be live we're going to do a little power hour um we're going to be live on whatnot every wednesday from now on unless we're like away or on a trip or something but uh yeah we'll be live tonight doing all independent number ones and we'll be at Joe's on Friday. We got the toy sale we're going to on Saturday. And then next week is the Arkham Asylum event. Lots of fun stuff. So hope you guys are excited. We'll see you in the next one, everybody. Take care.